Question number six, Chris Ockenbaugh. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the question, uh, to the <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Internal Affairs. What progress has been made on the review of the fire service functions and funding? Honourable Chris Tremaine. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I received the report of the independent review into fire service functions and funding in December and released it in early February. Since then, I have been meeting with key stakeholders and seeking feedback on the report. There has been a very positive response and a high level of consensus around many of the changes, especially those relating to the fire service mandate. Based on this feedback, a series of legislative and non-legislative changes are now being finalised. Supplementary question, Chris Ockenbaugh. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. What are the key initiatives the Government is considering as part of this review? Honourable Chris Tremaine. Mr Speaker, we are still making final decisions, but the key initiatives will firstly include changes to the mandate of the fire service to bring uh, the legislation into the 21st century. Secondly, I am investigating ways of enabling the fire service to work more collaboratively and efficiently with other emergency services. Thirdly, we will be comprehensively looking into the future funding options. The independent reviewers indicated that more work needed to be done here. We will be looking at ways to improve the equity of the fire service levy by removing opportunities for levy avoidance. Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Chris Ockenbaum. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To the Minister, why are the changes to the fire service mandate so important? Honourable Chris Tremaine. The fire service legislation is almost 40 years old, Mr. Speaker, and firefighters now perform a much wider range of tasks than they did in 1977. However, they are, they are still only mandated to fight fires. This means that firefighters are not legally protected nor legally required to perform tasks such as motor vehicle extractions, which they currently spend 18 per cent of their time doing. These issues have been apparent for a long time. It's very important to maintain the momentum and consensus on this rather than let it fall by the wayside, as, is, as has happened with previous That's reviews. Right. Good, strong answer. Question. Question number seven, Dennis O'Rourke. 